out here walking property this morning looking for sheds and whatever else we may stumble across. I got my handy dandy help with me. It's 40 degrees and it's pretty cold. So we're going to see what we can come up with. There's one of our stands right there. If you look back um, earlier in November we posted a picture of a buck 30 yards from the stand out here. So that's where this is at. But yeah, stick with us. Hopefully we can find some. So right here is off one of our stand sites. We have a stand probably 50 yards that way, but um, that way, but there's a obviously thicket right here. And then, I mean, this is just matted down from where probably doe bedding because um, there's several beds clumped together kind of um, in a circular area and they probably use it quite often from what, how matted down it is and how many different areas there are, so. Um, you know, we have deer coming up from this backside all the time into the food plot. Because um, a lot of times, you know, the wind's coming down off the hill, blowing into these bedding areas. So I'm definitely, definitely very much matted down. So real quick, I just want to show... Um, everybody this so it's really thick right here we have a stand off the back side right here and massive rub lines so there's a rub right there big old white oak right there and then as we go up here further actually I'm gonna well what am I gonna do I'm gonna cut through real quick I'm gonna go away I haven't gone yet I'll show you guys some more it's just Clearly the deer in here, and more than likely there's definitely some bucks. It's super matted down, trails going through it everywhere. Not a place that we hunt, but we probably should be a little bit more aggressive in here. Um, we should, not probably. But uh, just show going down here real quick. I'll show you what we're what we've got, but, oh man. Small rub right there. Another big rub right there. Another rub, another rub. So you can tell there's a rub line. It's pretty fresh too. And there's actually, coming off the other side, there's another rub right here. We didn't run a trail camera here this year, but we have in the past. And it's a major, you can see that right there. It's a major highway. So we definitely need a, um, be more aggressive back here. In fact, I'm not really sure why we're not, but there's another one right there. So it's, it's definitely tore up for sure. Hey everybody, um, we're kind of finishing up our scouting here in Virginia and trying to find some sheds too. And it's just not, there's not really a whole lot going on. We did check a trail camera and a lot of bucks are still holding even as of like last week. So um, hopefully they'll be dropping anytime uh, soon that temperature is going to dip down again uh, this coming weekend so hopefully that'll kind of um, do it but uh, today's really sunny and it's hard to find sheds with the glare on so many different things I saw this right here and thought it might have been something obviously it turned out to be nothing and that's kind of what I'm dealing with I'm trying to see well so uh, maybe some sunglasses could help I don't know but um just kind of looking around seeing what the deer are doing i mean there's everything is heavily browsed we don't have any uh late season food source on our property 
and it's probably why everything else is browsed. I mean, Greenbrier, and I think they're almost like uh, wild blueberries or huckleberries, whatever you want to call them, are, um, I mean, very heavily browsed. So we're going to keep looking. Found a lot of good bedding and some obvious areas where the deer are traveling. So kind of make some mental marks, but also some um, just uh, mentally you know, keeping these places in mind. In fact, we can look right here. So there's been some deer here since last night because I came through here and it's it's a pretty good uh, pretty good track right there actually. Um, and I saw a big one earlier and uh, that's, I mean, that was not there yesterday and it just rained. So um, the deer are definitely through here. So that's good. So we'll keep checking it out and seeing what we find. So Hopefully we come across something, if nothing else. I mean, we've got some good scouting uh, that we've seen. So you guys, be sure to comment below and say, hey, we'd like to see more of this, or uh, what are you doing in this scenario? What are you looking for this time of year? So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will uh, catch up with you soon. So I just want to show you guys kind of what I was talking about. Um, right here, this is heavily browsed. I mean, you can see the new sprouts right here. And then if you look down even closer, um, I mean, this is just completely browsed off on this branch and there's some new growth, but, uh, you know, deer are reverting to this stuff and there's a main kind of travel corridor and I've seen them come off this hill before. So, uh, I mean, they're eating pretty much anything at this point. Um, and a lot of the stuff on ground level is completely browsed. So they're definitely browsing a lot that, uh, just to maintain body weight, I suppose. So.